It's Chippy here from Stag Helm. Today we're going to fix our Razor Naga left click issue. Let's do work. Alright, these are some of the tools you're going to need to take apart your Razor Naga. You need a good old knife, nice and sharp, kitchen nonsense, lighter, kitchen knife, glue stick or glue gun, little mini screwdriver Phillips, and in, in case you don't have a glue gun and you got some whiskey laying around, Maker's Mark, we're going to show you how to use the, the wax to fix that. It'll also keep your hand steady. Alright, here's the Razor Naga. We're going to we have problems with the left button. It's not clicking properly. So what we're going to do is we're going to fix it. Sometimes they go bad. People have said they stop clicking, can't use it. We're going to fix it. Greatest mouse ever. Just uh, we've got to fix this. We've got to do a little modification. All right, first we're going to do. You know, flip it over. You see the Teflon tab. You're going to want to take this Teflon piece off. It's pla It's like a plastic. It has like sticky glue on the back. Don't worry, it'll re-stick. There's four screws. What I usually use, I use my fingernail. I'll dig in on the side and lift it up. And you'll see it lift up. And then just pull the whole thing off. Try not to stretch it too much. It'll come off pretty easy. Boom, there it is. Now you'll see four screws. You gotta unscrew this. Here's your Teflon, we're gonna reuse it. So um, save it, put it off to the side. Grab your Phillips screwdriver, a little mini one. Unscrew these four little bad boys. Real simple. One, two, three, four. This one screw up here on the top left is kind of like your crucial like set screw. Like this will adjust it, but we'll fix that later. So we'll take these out. Oh, this one's a little bit tight. Take this out. Take out your screws. Boom. There you go. Now, you should be able to pull it apart from right here on the top. Voila. Crack that bad boy right open. Boom. Do work. Alright, so you got the inside of the razor piece. Plastic, it's the top. That's the inside. I, I did it turned on. You should do it turned off. You know what I mean? It happens. Alright, here are your two. These are your two left click and right click. Here's your left click right here. It's like a little uh, black with a little white highlight. And your right click. These two tabs, when you press it, you'll hear the noise. That's your click. As you can see on yours and your left, you'll see a bunch of like uh, white crap that shaved off from the plastic. So what you want to do is just get a Q-tip, clean it up. You'll see a bunch of muck all around the edge. It's all like your dead skin crap. Clean all that off. Um, blow it out. <laughs> do a nice blow. Okay, what you want to do is set that there. All right, here's the problem. This is your left click. Here's the problem right here. These little tabs. We'll zoom in and see if you can see it. But there's like little two little tabs when you left click. Two little flat tabs on both sides. And if you can see, the right one is perfectly flush. It's not worn. But yours will have like a little U-notch inside the tab. So what happens is when you click down, it's not pressing the button for the thing to work over here it's not clicking it so what you need to do what I did was where the U notch is that it, ma it made by itself you want to get your knife 
get your kitchen knife with a nice little sharp edge and you want to like right where the notch already is you want to make a little bit bigger of a notch and I'll tell you why in a second so you want to saw that right here straight down till you got about go down about maybe a sixteenth it's a, it's a little hair just enough so what well you the reason you're doing that is for the glue to stick your hot glue to stick in there or your wax okay then what you do get our glue stick either get your glue stick and your lighter heat it up or if you're high tech and you got a glue gun get your mom's glue gun and you know do work with it heat it up what you're going to want to do is heat it up drop a little drop right on the tab and then what I did is just like let it melt for a second and then pull it up and then blow on it let it dry once that happens you're going to want to um you're going to want to cut the remaining so what I'll do is I like to I like to do the whiskey version this one hasn't been done before yet but I do the Maker's Mark version with the wax. Works just as good. <clears throat> go to your dad's booze cabinet, jacket, whatever you gotta do, or if you're an adult, just go buy some booze and have a good time fixing your mouse. So what you wanna do is, you wanna heat up the wax. You know what I mean? Just a little heat, warm it up. Gets warm really fast. So what you wanna do is just drop a little drop a little touch, boom, like that. Just enough for it to penetrate. And that's enough already right there. So you'll see where I put the wax right on the edge. Little red dot. Okay, what you want to do is get your sharp ass knife. You know what I mean? I like the big blade, sharp. Or a razor blade. I didn't have a razor blade. So what you want to do is you want to file it. You know what I mean? Let it dry. Nice and dry already, the wax. And just file the remaining excess off. So you're just kind of like sawing it off. Until it's flush. A couple of... You know, take your time. File it off. Pull it off. And you should be left with a perfectly flush plastic. You know what I mean? The, the wax will go in the gap. And you'll have a perfectly flush new piece of plastic again. Right there. And then that's it. You're done. You know, this it has a, it has a weight inside. I'm going to do another modification later to the whole nog. I'm going to actually re-weight it because it's kind of light and it's kind of uncomfortable. So I'm going to remodify the whole top and side with a video also of that later. Custom, you know, pinky, all that good stuff. But for right now, let's fix some basic problems. Let's make your naga work. So once you got that done, scratch it off. Make sure it's all flush. Nice. Because this is what's going to press your button down. Put it back together. Snaps back in. Boom, boom, let's see, all right, now look, now feel your click, you should hear your click, click perfect, just like the right one, it sounds like brand new again, and you're like, yo, I got my shit to work, so, put it back together, put your four screws back in, Now this is the tricky part at the end. Remember that last screw I was telling you guys earlier? The last screw, don't tighten it too much. Okay, the back ones are okay, just tighten them regular. Boom, knock it out. There it is. The one where your left button is, you want to not tighten it too tight. It's sensitive. I don't know why, but give it a tight all the way. And if you notice, it'll start to click perfect. If you over tighten it, what will happen is it won't 
it won't let it, it won't let it click down but that's perfect you, you'll hear it it's like brand new now for the Teflon eventually your Teflon wears out razor sells brand new Teflons you can buy and restick on um, I reuse mine no biggie it's good for another six months or whatever um, stick it on and have a go let's see start from the top line your piece up you know trying to like just put it on nice rough not too rough because sometimes it stretches put it on just barely put it on just to make sure it all fits perfect like right there mine got a little bit overstretched so what I'll do is I'll back it up I'll start from the top kind of feed it back a little bit just realign it there it is put it on a hard surface flush BAM all done new Naga back to work let's game game on Alright, this is Chippy, Staghelm, signing out. Fix your razor naga. No worries. Peace.